Okay, I am working on the Ampex tape that I showed you in the previous video, how to open, and I thought I'd show you how to basically fix this twist in the tape. And as I mentioned, it was inside the loop, so I had to unravel the tape, which you can basically see is quite a bit of tape. This can also be used uh, as a technique if you have a race section of tape in the center part and it gets jammed and what you need to do in those cases you need to pull out the center and unravel it until you get that race section out. To then rewind it you need to pull the outside tape until it is tight and then start winding up around the outside of the tape because with that kind of tightness you'll find that um, the tape will actually be twisted in the right format so that it is in a continuous loop without being twisted in several places. But anyway, let's get to the um, wrinkled part. Okay. Here we have the wrinkled section right there. And what I will do is I will twist it to unwrinkle it and use my finger to kind of smooth it out a little bit like that. Now I will take the iron and I've turned the iron on. The iron is set at about one. No mist. It's on dry setting at the lowest heat. And I will now hold the section of tape out as such. And sometimes I'll put a can down here to kind of hold one end of it flat. Then what I do, let's get a little closer here, is I will now iron out the section. I will go very quickly. It may take a couple times. Okay, don't pull on this, don't stretch this, just let it lie flat. Go several times back and forth. And you can actually do the opposite side too. And this will generally work on any other type of situation where you may have a a track where the tape itself is wrinkled because it was eaten up or some other uh, situation caused it. So just lie it flat. If it doesn't unwrinkle you can notch it up a little bit hotter but don't go too far because the worst thing will happen is that it will actually melt it and it will stretch it out and you definitely don't want that. Okay. You never get it quite perfectly the way it was but it'll at least make the tape flow s smoothly through the machine and not get twisted again. Okay, that's about as far as I'm going to go. And there you have it. The tape has now been flattened out through an iron.